Mr. Cripple. But I just can't feel too bad for you right now. Because I'm feeling so insanely stupid. That even the fact that you can't walk can't bring me down. Super dark times. Well, I gotta admit, after seeing the trailer, I was really expecting a lot more from this one. But it was an alright film. It really, like, it was good, but, like, barely still good. It wasn't, like, the most amazing shit I've ever seen in my life, but it does still qualify as a good movie. The thing is, like, you honestly are starting to notice by the movies that are coming out these days, like, with it also, that Stranger Things certainly had an impact on the film world because we are getting a lot, and I mean a lot, of coming-of-age stories going on here. And this was also one of them, a little coming-of-age horror story. It is about four friends who live a regular teenage life, and then, in the end, something terrible happens while they're just kidding around. And the dialogue, especially in the beginning and in the middle, really are good. Everything about the movie is generally good until we get to the end. The further the movie progresses, the less of quality remains in comparison to the beginning. The thing is, like, even though the dialogue is really good and the characters are well written, you don't understand their motivations at all sometimes. Why is our main character such a paranoid little pussy? Why does his friend do what he does? I don't want to give away any spoilers, but... That's the thing, like, there's just things characters in this film do that don't make any sense at all. They, it's just like, you ask yourself, why is this person acting this way? Why is this person doing this? And why is this person doing that? Like, some elaboration and some more conversations about the actual problems in the movie would have um, brought the movie some more sense and... Also, some more quality if we went that way. Um, generally, uh, when we look at the technical things, like so the photography and the cinematography generally is very well done. Again, a very rainy day-ish lighting going on throughout the entire film. I was really like a little lost. The question was like all the time, why? And the thing is, it felt like the screenwriters of this film had a wonderful idea wrote the beginning well, started the middle good, and then just lost and lost interest in their story. And it somehow feels like that all of a sudden they wanted to get the script done as fast as it could. And in the end, they just didn't feel like it anymore. Or they had to get their story done in time. And they just like dropped it and said, hey, we're gonna like finish up this movie quickly so we have a quick release. And that's a little why I am so disappointed. This movie could have been so nice. That would be super dark times for you. Check it out if you feel like it, but you don't have to. It's really an all right movie, but nothing special.